It's a living and breathing thing, man. I'm actually quite scared of it. <laughs> so, you know. Hey everybody, what's up? Don Carr here with another round of What's On Your Pedal Board, and today it is Richie Faulkner. Mr. Carr, how are you? Dude, excellent, man. Excellent. It's a pleasure, it's a pleasure. My pleasure, my pleasure. Thank you so much for being here, man. Thanks for having us. Yeah, absolutely. It's been, uh, it's been loud already, and we were <laughs> sweaty already, which means it's, a, it's been a good day. <laughs> right, a success, absolutely. success. Um, yeah, so you're here with your band, Elegant Weapons, and you guys are in Studio A at Sweetwater here, and you're doing a little recording and all that good stuff. Yes, sir, we're uh, doing a studio masterclass, mm -hmm. and um, oh, nice. so we'll be showing people how to cover up your mistakes and uh, make it sound like you meant to play it that way and all that sort of good stuff. And uh, no, we, we're just psyched yeah. to be here with the band, you know? Yeah, that's great, man. Yeah, you guys are killing, man. Definitely. Thank you very much. Definitely. Um, and uh, so, and this is kind of a new project for you. It is. It's, uh, it's something that's been, you know how it is. You put bits and pieces together, yeah. like riffs and melodies and stuff. And I think during COVID, I sort of had some time, like we all did, to get those ideas together and just see if they worked in a, you know, if it was songs or an EP or an album. And it, and it was, so it yeah. kind of started there. I had a couple of things in the meantime that put me back a little bit, but um, that was basically what it was. And it's got to the point now where we've got the band together, uh, we're putting the album out in May, we've got dates coming in in Europe, you know, later on in the year. So it's it's a real band, man, you know yeah, what I mean? Which is exciting. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it's it's right at the great time. Priests are taking some time off, so we've got a little window so we can go out and lay the foundations for what hopefully is the future for us, you know. Man, that's amazing. Really good, good timing. And, and uh, everybody else in the band kind of in a similar situation, you know, so so that's perfect, man. Perfect. Absolutely, yeah. The, the other guys, we've got Christopher Williams from Accept mm -hmm. and Dave Arima from Uri Heap and Ronnie Romero, who sings with Schenker. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so yeah, it's one of those things where hopefully we can take the seeds from the old guard and plant them you know, with the new generation yeah. and into the future and yeah. take the lessons that we've learned from them. Right, and we've right. all been accepted by these gods, you know. You know mm -hmm. So it's kind of like a responsibility really to take yeah. That further. Yeah, standing about, on the shoulders of giants, I've heard it called. You, you know? put it better, man. Yeah. Uh, that's what I was trying to say. <laughs> you know? no, no, that's it, man. We you know, we've all been there, but this is this is an amazing opportunity for you guys. So hey, today we're here to talk about what's on your pedal board, which I think is brilliant. The fact that you don't actually have a pedal board. I love that, man. I've never I, well, I'll say never. The only time I've ever had a pedal board is when my tech in priest made me have one. Uh, <laughs> The reason was really because I always used to run batteries. I didn't have a power supply, so I used yeah. to run batteries. Sure. And you know, used to pull, used to need to pull them off and mm -hmm. unscrew them. And, right. And you couldn't get them off the pedal board that easy. Yeah. yeah. So I just left them off the pedal board, uh, and it's always been like this ever since I've been playing in pubs and stuff. This is the pub. Uh, <laughs> the pub setup. <laughs> actually, the carpet's pretty similar. I've seen a few of these. <laughs> You know, beer and, uh, stain maybe. You know, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's all we need. And and yeah. it's just it just stays with you. You know what I mean? It, yeah. Um, and sometimes you put them on a pedal ball. For me, it looks a bit, I don't know, I like it like this. I like it a bit chaotic and, you know, I don't know, it just sticks with you. So that's what it is, really. You know, and another interesting thing about this kind of setup is, I mean, on a pedal board, everything's fairly close, mm -hmm. right? And so you're really doing a little more of the, like, specific tap dance thing. Mm -hmm. Man, with it spread out, it's like you just run by, bah, you know, well, you, they, you know you're going to hit the right one. Well, exactly. You, you can see here it's kind of taking on its own. Yeah. You, you put them out straight origi like originally. Right. And then it's taking on its own shape depending on where is natural for you to, for them to be. Yeah. So see, I've got see. This is the way to do it. You know, not that pedal board rubbish. You know, this is uh, this is the way forward. You know? Look how ergonomic you are. Look at that, man. I love that. It's you, you know, yeah, it's maybe beautiful, can, man. I don't know, maybe yeah, it's that, it's that, I don't know. Right. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So um, okay. So what do we got here? The Jerry uh, Cantrell Y, I see. Well, we've got nothing special. Again, I mean, uh, I'll, sh I'll show you the amps in a minute. Yeah. It's nothing yeah. really. It's it's a it's a wah pedal. It's the Jerry Cantrell wah. Yeah. Uh, and it's got one knob on it. You know, you can get some wires which have got a few switches and right. dials and right. stuff. This is just the the switch just rolls off. Or well, not the switch, should I say? The what do you call it? The the, the, the knob. knob. Yeah. Rolls back a bit of the high end of the wah. So instead of a wah, it's a yeah. wah, you know? Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? right. And yeah, I, his whole thing, like even the inductor in there, it's a little darker sounding. A bit the darker. Way, the, the way, yeah, the like way that. they got it voiced, yeah. So it's, it's specific. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
I don't use a what I don't use a wow 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 type sound. Yeah. I, I kind of use it as a filter a lot of the time. Yeah. Um, and that works perfectly. I've been using them for about ten years. Cool. Um, so yeah, that's but it's it's a wah pedal. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. That's what it does. You know what I'm <laughs> One saying? One thing. Yes. <laughs> on uh, off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Moving on from that, you've got the MXR Univibe. Yeah. Uh, always a favorite of mine. I th think it has a voicing. There's a lot of vibes out there. Mm -hmm. The Univibe, to me, always had a voicing that was unique to everything else. Yeah. There's stuff that comes close to it, but a Univibe, to me, is a Univibe. And they've had various different, you know, incarnations of them. Right. But they've always right. sounded consistent to me. So yeah. Yeah. Always had a Univibe on there. A micro chorus, that's the Zach Wild thing, really. That's yeah. you know, big, uh, mm. big Zach Wild fan. I think he had a he had a bigger chorus. He had the the bigger version of that. Right. That'll do for me. Again, one knob, you know. Speed. Set yeah. it how fast you want it. There exactly. You go, uh, and it. it's pretty versatile as well. You can use it on the fast setting for that mm. kind of rotary. Right. Almost you know. Leslie sound. Exactly yeah. that. Yeah. Um, and then we've got the Distortion Plus, which is the classic classic the i didn't classic. used to like this i wasn't a fan of the distortion <laughs> plus uh, until i started using the plexis and then some it does something that's that magic you know what i mean mm -hmm. you put it through other amps or i just i just i've never liked it and I, I was looking for an overdrive to put through the plexis and i, I tried a clon i tried a, yeah you know i tried a, a, a tumnus and i thought i don't like this but i'll try it and you know that always happens. You, sometimes yeah. that kind yeah. of just makes that little bit of magic yeah. you need. And it just works really well with the Plexi. So Yeah, it always is about, you know, distortion pedals especially are always about the combination. Mm -hmm. right? It's always about the guitar amp and, and the player, of course, what you want to hear and mm -hmm. what your, the sound your hands are making. But still, yeah, I can I can totally see that, though, through a Plexi. Man, yeah. That's, yeah, it's brilliant. It's a great, it's a classic. It is. Uh, and again, it's simple. Mm -hmm. And that's it. You've got yeah. a tuner in there. Sometimes, sometimes it... Doesn't sound like it. It works very well. Sometimes you, you know you slip into rock tuning, but that, <laughs> yeah. didn't, that didn't bother Hendrix or anyone. You know that's I mean? right, it's, man. It's, just put a little vibrato on it. You're good. Bend man. it back into yeah, tune. Good, man. And, and that's it. And that's that's where we're at. Um, there's no there's no delay or anything like that. The, the plexus don't have an effects loop. And right. The delays always sound messy. Yeah. Um, yeah. I use delay with Priest because we can go through the back sure. with other amps and stuff. But sure. with this setup, it's just straight through the front, so no delay. Yeah, that's, that's right. It. That's great, man. Yeah, let the front of house take care of that. Exactly, yeah. And if you're playing a bigger stage anyway, man, delay just kind of turns into a mess. You exactly, know, Or yeah. a can, yes. you know, unless you're using it for a, like a specific effect. But, yeah. you know. Well, usually it makes you sound worse, but it makes me sound better. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it is, it is what it is. But uh, So, yeah, oh, just man. as simple as it gets, man. Yeah, and the amps I love the same. it, man. Yeah, the amps, though, man. We were, I was just marveling at your amps, as I'm sure everyone does. So, JCM 800, this is an 80s, right, you said? This is a 1983. 83. Yeah, that's Beautiful. an original. Yeah. And the yeah. Plexi is a 95, 30, uh, is it 97 or 95? I'm not sure. It's mid-90s, Yeah. 35th anniversary. Oh, okay. Okay. Of, you know, of the 1959. Yeah. And it's, everyone loves them. I mean, I love them. I think, again, it's the same philosophy as the, as the pedals, really. It's just one channel. Uh, it does it well, and it's yeah. they're just loud as anything. Right, one great sound that punches through any mix anything. anywhere. Anything you can't not hear it. No, yeah, um, you have to work a bit harder at it. It's it kind of it's yeah. not as comfortable sometimes. There's yeah, not as, not much, as forgiving. Exactly the word I was yeah. looking for. Yeah, um, but once you sort of get over that, it just as you said cuts through anything. It, they both roar, and the mid range is slightly different in both of them, and they, they work really well together. And they just look fantastic. Yeah, they do, <laughs> you know man. I mean? That's the main thing, really. Wow, yeah, they look killer, man. I, I mean, you know, interesting, too, though, because you're playing is, you, you, man, you're fluid, but you're articulate at the same time. And these amps kind of just, like, let that shine, which they I think really is do. great, man. Again, you have to work a little bit harder at mm -hmm. it, and you have to kind of tailor... Forgiving is, is a great word. It, it's not as forgiving, so you have to tailor your playing to suit them, almost. They kind of tell you how you're going to play, you know. Yeah. None of that fast stuff, you know, you're going to play meat and potatoes, right. you know what I mean? Yeah. Bit, you're bit you're like hitting that. the note. It's not going to give you anything for free. Uh -uh. you got to hit them all, man. So you got to put yeah. it out of there. And it, it yeah. just, I think it creates a, a connection with the guitar and the amp and mm -hmm. the sound that you're creating that just, not like you become one with it, but you know what I'm saying? You have to, you have to kind of, it's a physical thing yeah. to put well, it out of there. It, and it is a system. I mean, we're, you know, it's the guitar and the amp and the speaker. It's, it's a yes. whole thing that works together, you yes. know? Yeah, um, speaking of the guitar. Well, the guitar yeah. is, this is the final prototype for what's going to be my Gibson uh, signature V. And we were working on this pre-COVID. Oh, wow. Um, okay. 
but we didn't want to, you know, we wanted to play it on the road, you know, there's no point in putting mm -hmm. out a signature that you don't play. Right. You know, so we went out on the road, um, we had to wait, obviously, until after COVID to get it back out on sure. the road again. And then we've put it through its paces, we've made a couple of um, adjustments, but fundamentally it's the same as it's always been. Yeah. Uh, it's just stuff like the neck, uh, we had to shave a bit off the neck, you know, make the neck a bit slimmer. Right. Um, initially, we tried a P90 in the neck and a, and a regular humbucker in the bridge, mm -hmm. uh, but for the, the volume levels and the type of gain that it is, it's, mm -hmm. it's just... Yeah, you either get noise or, you, you know, the too, too much disparity in the, yes. in the you know, difference between the sound of the pickups. Yeah. Yep. Cool, man. Well, it's sharp looking too, man. Well, it, really. I mean, it's, it's that classic, it's, it's the double pick guard. Yeah. Um, which yeah. I've played for, you know, about 10 years, 10, 11 years now. It's got signature EMGs in it, uh, which are my own uh, voiced EMGs. Nice. Um, they're gonna, obviously, they're going to come with the guitar and they're going to put them out on their own as well. Oh, okay. Great, um, great. So yeah, ebony, ebony fretboard, block inlays, uh, you know, locking Floyd Rose. Um, so it's a, it's a custom, and the, the thing about it as well, it's 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 like the it's like the, the approach of the amps and the, yeah. the pedals. It's stripped down. I've taken the the volume and the tone knobs off. It's got one volume and a switch, and that's it. So uh, it's got rid of all the other. I never use a tone knob. Oh, there I've, you all go. All the tones in there. You there, don't need a tone knob. There you go, you know? man. So it's just one. It's just. You know, but the, the good thing about the EMGs is, you know, you turn it down on the volume knob and you still get, it's like the fuzz face. You can turn it down and still get that clarity and that right. clean sound and then whack it up and you've right. got the- Yeah, and you're driving it a lot harder, yeah. 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 So yeah, that's, that's basically what it is. And it's, it's served me well over the last couple of years. We've had it out on the road with Priest and it's, it's a monster, I love it. That is so cool, man. That really is. And again, back to like the, uh, from the pedal board perspective, it's really about the system. Mm -hmm. You know, it's really about this is what serves this, which is what serves what's going on in here yes. and how you want to speak to the world. You yeah. Know? And yeah. you know, as, as you go through your, you know, your musical life, different things influence you and, you know, sure. things change. Yeah. And as you know, we've said before, you know, you go from the simplicity of the Marshall and then you go through the journey of, you know, effects and, you know, rack mounted stuff and you've got the fridge and you're trying to get that, but you don't know it. And then when you realize that's what you're trying to get, you kind of come home. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Kind of so, find your way back. I know we were talking earlier, my first amp was a 72 Super Elite, my first go. real amp and there's nothing like it, man. There really isn't. Yeah. But you, I think you've got to go through the journey to realize that. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, you do. And then you, you come do. back and realize why everyone plays them. And I think by that time, you've grown as a player mm -hmm. where you can actually play them. Right, and you can appreciate it better. Yes. You can appreciate what it does. It, it feels less like it's fighting you and more like yeah. it's speaking you. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah, definitely. So, yeah. Cool, cool. Hey, man, um, let's hear it. Let's do it. <laughs> I'll, I'll take you through the pedals. Okay. It's noisy. It sounds like these, the, the sea coming in in uh, <laughs> Bognor Regis or something like that in the UK, but you, and especially with a chorus on it, you, you're going to hear it. Yeah, so, uh, perfect. It's a living and breathing thing, man. I'm actually quite scared of it. <laughs> so, you know? You turn it it's on gonna... and it's like, I was saying this earlier on, it's like a, a piece of plutonium in a case <laughs> and it could just blow up at any minute because it's... I, yeah, it's that know. active, it's that alive, it's going to take yeah. over the world. Yeah. That's what it's, that's what's going to happen. I mean, it already has taken over the world, really, you know. But, uh, <laughs> so yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll put it for its paces for you. Cool, let's do. All right. <laughs>
monstrous man. Thank you, brother. Thank you, man. Monstrous man. Wow. Uh, thank you so much for being here, Richard. It's been an absolute pleasure. Anytime. Really appreciate sir. it, man. Really appreciate it. Come back, please, often. Uh, it's good to have you around, man. Definitely. Thank you, brother. Try and stop right. me coming back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, thanks, everybody, for watching. If you have any questions about these pedals or any pedals, make sure to contact your Sweetwater sales engineer or check us online at sweetwater.com. Thanks. Thanks.